Because the race had been in my favor basically from the beginning, for whatever reason, you know, things were just going my way that year. And, and I had a lot of time to think about that, getting to Nome. And, and uh, before I even reached Nome, I visualized it. The crowd's reaction, my dad in tears, my mom bawling, you know, my wife. All, all the, I visualized all of this happening. And, uh, and I cried, and I laughed, and I cried some more. And uh, by the time I got to Nome, I didn't really have much of an emotion left and a feeling. I was excited, but I was also exhausted. And I'd already cried for days, and I, you know what I mean? <laughs> so by the time I got to Nome, it was more, um, you know, thanking the fans that came out to see me and praising the dog team that got me there and seeing that beautiful Dodge truck sitting there that I just won. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't help but wrap my arms around that thing, you know? Um, and just, just the whole thing was just, you're in awe, you know what I mean? You're obviously ecstatic about what just happened, but it really didn't sink in until the next morning. And I remember waking up, we had just this little rundown shack we stayed in, you know, and I remember waking up in the middle of the night and just kind of opened my eyes. You know, my wife's laying there and I just remember saying, I just won the Iditarod. Unbelievable. You know, and I couldn't help. I'm mean, getting kind of teary out thinking about it again because it was just one of those things that wasn't ever supposed to happen. The odds were stacked against me from day one. Um, you know, I wasn't even considered a contender going into the race, even though I'd won 1,000 mile races and I'd cracked the top 10 twice. I wasn't even considered a contender. Um, but yeah, here I was, you know, and it, and it was then very emotional. Um, you know, it's just, again, just the fact that I was racing dogs when I shouldn't have been. And, you know, I mentioned this before, you know, I had a pretty rough relationship with my parents. And yet both of them are standing there crying tears of joy for the first time ever, as opposed to tears of disappointment. You know, and that to me was powerful.